you you know a common question that a lot of people ask me when they're thinking about leaving their job or the transition to another career and everything is Deontay do I need to give a two-week notice to him and I got the same answer for everybody hell no why would you be feeling dead to give somebody a two-week notice and if they're gonna let you go or they're gonna make different changes they're not even gonna give you a damn two-minute damn notice it's gonna let you damn go probably pull you in a room have security stand at the door tell you they're going to let you go, and just walk you out and mail you all your stuff. So why the hell would you give them the same common courtesy? How's it going? I'm Deontay Burden, and our web channel, my YouTube channel is Change Live, hosted by yours truly, Deontay Burden. On the channel, we talk about uh, motivation, personal development, and, pro uh, and professional development as well. Easy way to subscribe to the channel, hit that blue man in the bottom right-hand corner so you stay updated. Now here's the deal. When we start talking about do you have to give a two-week notice or anything, here, if you're dealing with a company and you feel like, hey, you know, everything's been fine, we're on good terms and stuff, I want to leave them in a certain position, I want to train the person behind me, and I, you know, want to get them ample time to move and doing it, nothing wrong with it. Again, we, we're we talking about do you have to give them a two-week notice, okay? Here, one of the drawbacks is that when you kind of abruptly leave, you don't give a notice, you know, you don't give them a chance to make certain adjustments for you. So you have to be kind of prepared as far as your check, or the amount of time that you did work, it may be short, depending on certain adjustments and everything like that. You want to make sure you don't want to get any kind of phone calls in the future. Hey, what did you place this key? What is the password of these particular items that you were dealing with on a more intimate basis? But in general, I kind of give people the same amount of advice. If you know you're going to leave somewhere and you're not so keen to want to actually help them with the transition, be a little proactive. Write down all the passwords that you got. Keep all keys and everything that you have in a centralized location so you do leave. You can just let them know that's where they are. Write all passwords down. All passwords down that you have. And, you know, be, but be willing also to get some kind of maybe uh, adjustments to your last check uh, just in case because, you know, you, you may leave them on um, in a situation where they're maybe upset and they may do some things that you can't really debate about. But for the most part, you ready to leave, you know, how much you're going to be stuck on that. But as far as the indebtedness, again, going back to that, do you have to leave someone two-week notice? Absolutely not. Because one of the biggest drawbacks is that we feel there's more obligation to be the right person or the bigger person in certain situations. But companies not going to feel that way with you. They always come down the bottom line. And if they feel like they got to let you go and everything, they got to make these not even tough decisions for them. As far as how you're going to, you know, you being let go, regardless of the different financial constraints that you may have in your life, your family obligations, your health obligations, they don't care. So why in the world are you sitting there debating on, I'm going to give them a certain amount of notice? Because definitely they won't give to you. Like I said, they're going to call you in the office, let you know what's going on, and get you escorted out, and you may get some of your stuff mailed back to you later on. So don't you feel the same obligation, uh, uh, better, uh, a better obligation to, uh, to give them? Do your job, have, take pride in your job, do it to the highest level possible, and that's all you want to give, okay? Outside of that and everything, I wouldn't try to go above and beyond because no one's going to do that for you. Again, this is Deontay Burden. Check out my YouTube channel, Change the Live, hosted by yours truly, Deontay Burden. As always, hit that blue man in the bottom right-hand corner so you stay updated with all the great information we have concerning you know, future updates in regard to personal, personal development, professional development, and motivational videos. Take care and talk to you soon.